how are y'all? So, I got up and I decided I would put my makeup on and fix my hair because I have gotten really lazy about it. And y'all, I'm just losing all my technique. I made the biggest mess of this makeup. I mean, I tried to salvage it, so hopefully it looks decent, but when I, you don't put makeup on every day and you go like extended periods of time and don't put your makeup on, you forget like techniques, you like get out of practice and it's just, anyway, thank goodness I really don't have anywhere to go today important. I do have to at some point run to the grocery store to get a couple things that we need for dinner tonight and then I'm gonna end up making a grocery order. Um, probably to pick up tomorrow. Thank goodness the grocery store is just right around the corner from us. So, but I want to kind of sit down with James and kind of like um, go over some meals that we're going to have this week and all that kind of stuff. Found out he's going to be out of town next week. So Buster and I will be solo in it here. Buster's over there in the recliner, all snuggled up in those blankets. And I've got to go get the hangers and stuff out of the closet so I can get the laundry out of the dryer. I like to get it out right when it's done so I can just put it on hangers and I don't have to worry about it and it's neat and no wrinkles and it cuts down on ironing because I hate to iron. So I'm going to do that and wait for the rain to come and go. So I wanted to update y'all on my car a little bit just in case some of y'all had been having some of the same issues I had been having. So, I had noticed that my car was having issues and it was kind of like, mm, I don't know if y'all have ever driven a car that you've gotten bad gas, how it would kind of like sputter a little bit and just kind of like not, when you go to take off, it would kind of sputter and stall out a little bit. Well, that's what my car had been doing for a little bit and it was getting worse. So... We took it to my mechanic friend, James and I did, to kind of just, I wasn't sure, and James wasn't sure, because they've made these vehicles now where not just anybody can work on them. But we took it to him to kind of tell him what it was doing, to kind of see if it's something we need to be really, really concerned about, you know, an idea of what it could be, this and that. And he said it was very common for these modern vehicles to have, they have some kind of um, filter thing in the gas tank that if it gets air in it or anything like that, that it can cause that and there's really nothing that can be done about it. And of course he went into great detail, but cause I told him, I said, I noticed it more so when it's starting to get low on gas or I just fill up on gas. And he was like, yeah, that's, he said, just drive it. And he said, you know, so my thing was, I was worried about messing up the transmission and all that. And he was like, no, it's fine. So it continued to get worse. And we're like, okay, we're just going to take it back to Kia and, you know, let them just fix it because it's too nice of a vehicle. Um, and we're just going to put the money into getting it fixed. And that's what we did. And so they did... They changed all the plugs and all that. They said they were shot, which that made sense. And then they did a fuel treatment on it. Okay. So we get the car back. It was driving great. So then it come time to get gas. And we went to get gas where we always get gas. We filled it up. And it started again. So... It was driving just like it had bad gas. So our son was over and we were talking and he works on cars and you know, everything. And we got to talking, I was telling him a little bit of what the car was doing. And he was like, yeah, he's like, I had to quit getting um, gas just anywhere and I could only get like good gas. I was getting gas at Walmart because I mean, gas is so high and if any dime you can save, you know, you want to try to save, but at the same time, I wasn't saving anything. <laughs> and I was like, I'm telling you, I think it's the gas because it makes sense. Anyway, I asked him what, where he gets gas and he says he only gets gas at the Chevron. It has to be Chevron gas. And I'm like, okay. So we run that tank out of 
the Walmart gas. And it come time to fill up again. And we went and paid, you know, I think about 10, 10 more cents a gallon, but it went to Chevron. Y'all, praise God, my car's not done it again. So, if yours is doing that and you've been getting Walmart gas, because he told me, he said, Walmart waters their gas down. I said, that's exactly what my car drives like. Like, it's got water in the tank. And he's like, yeah, and because I've noticed that I have this little thing on my car. When you fill it up, it tells you how many miles you have to empty. And it was less with the Walmart than it is with the other gas. And he says, because they water it down so much. Now, I don't know if this is true. I'm not telling you this will fix your issue, but I just thought I would share that with y'all just in case y'all were having that. And he also said, he said, do you keep pumping when it clicks off? And I was like, yeah, because I always try to round up. He said, yeah, he said, don't do that. He said, because it does have some kind of um, filter system in there and all that. He said, don't do that. He said, it's the hardest thing for him, too, to just let it stop. He said, but when it clicks off, be done with it. So, fingers crossed that's what we're doing. So, I thought I would share that with y'all. I had to get out. I have to run to the grocery store. And while I was out, I thought I would just run into the thrift store. It's ridiculous. These thrift stores around here, I don't know what they're thinking, but from what I hear, it's not just my stores, but they've just gotten crazy with their prices. I mean, look, I understand they have to make a profit because they have to pay their employees and overhead and all that. I get that. But this stuff is given to you for free. And it's not going to make you any money sitting on that shelf. So price it to move. That's all I'm saying. Just price it to move. Um, I also went into the local habitat that's right next door to it. I like to check them out periodically. Um, and they had a beautiful, beautiful frame, vintage frame there. Like it was an 8x10. I just don't do 8x10s. Um, so I didn't get it, but it was beautiful. I wish they would have had it in like a five by seven. It was only two dollars. But I mean, and they had two lights. I was so tempted to get them. I want to replace the lights in my hallway because it's just the boob light, and I want to replace them. And they had two lights that matched, um, that were vintage, and they were five dollars a piece. And I should have got them, but I just wasn't 100% like, yes, that's it. So, I'll just keep checking. I'll know when I find it. But, now I'm going to head to the grocery store and get my couple of items that I need and get back home. It still has not rained. I was waiting out the rain, but it still has not rained. So, I'm going to get back home to Buster. This is officially James's birthday month. He has a birthday this month, August. And um, I have ordered him. He wanted some kind of knife sharpening thing. He sent me the link um, on Amazon. So I ordered him that. It was supposed to have been here yesterday. It got delayed. So it's going to be here today. He's already texted me. He's like, did that sharpener come today? I'm like, it hasn't arrived yet, but it's scheduled to arrive today. So, he's so excited for it. Y'all, he never asked for anything. So, when he does, then of course, I want to get it for him, you know? And he's like, get this for me. We'll call it an early birthday present. Really? No. I mean, he never asked for anything. So... I'll be excited when it comes just for him because he's so excited y'all I'm so ready for fall I'm so ready for fall fall is like my absolute favorite time of the year I love it I think I love it so much because it's usually so hot here that whenever we get fall we get like a little bit of relief from so much heat and humidity and I'm just so ready for it so ready for it but I still have a little bit of a wait but 
seeing all these people with their sharing their like fall shopping um videos what the stores have and everything i'm just like oh i just love it i love that time of year um i mean i don't need anything i probably have too much fall stuff which will be fine because i can share with delana since she has a bigger home this year if she's gonna do all that decorating i don't even know if she is she's not big into like the seasonal decorating like i am <laughs> i just love it but i always have I always have Anyway, I'm just yakking now, so I'm just gonna get off of here, get to the grocery store, get what I gotta get, and get back home to my Buster. Y'all, he's doing so good. I'm so, I'm so relieved. I'm so happy. Um, he's doing so good. So, yeah. So, I will catch up with y'all in just a little bit. So James got a new toy. And he's fixing to, well, James, hold up, hold up your hands and let me count your fingers. So you have 10 fingers. All right. He's fixing to sharpen these knives with his new toy. Man, James, this is a fancy one. And let's just pray that he keeps his fingers. You got to keep your phone on there the whole time you're doing it? Just for the setup. Oh, just for the setup. This come from Amazon. He found it. He sent me the link and ordered it. James, what's your verdict so far? I need to learn how to use it better. Do they have a video on YouTube you can watch? I need to watch it again. Oh, you already watched one? Is that how you found it? Mm -hmm. You just watching a video? Mm -hmm. Okay. But it come with the machine, these files, and there's one on there, a whole other pack of files different grits, a carrying case. Carrying case is important. And instructions. And it was like $35, $36. Y'all look at this thing. Is he burnt or what? Burnt. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it, James. You never ask for anything. Well, I'm gonna do it. So today I'm so excited to share with you a new product that iMethod Beauty reached out to me about. Um, Y'all know that I did, well, if you don't know, I did a review on the eyebrow stencil. I love them. They changed my life. That's the only thing I use now when I do my eyebrows since receiving that product. And it has been a game changer for me. So, when they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try the winged eyeliner stamp, I was like, yes, because I'd actually wanted to try these and never purchased them. Again, don't know why. So, that's what we're going to do today. They have the 10 millimeters, what they sent me, but they also have an 8. Um, and they only come, it only comes in black, which I kind of wish they had a brown because I'm not real crazy about black, but we're going to give it a shot. Um, I think it can look nice, like, especially for evenings or if you're just going to do, like, a wing liner and some false eyelashes and keep everything else kind of natural. I think that would work okay, too. So, we're going to give this a shot. Now, what you get is, you get these two little, hold on, let me get it out of the pack. You get these two little pins. On one end, you have the stamp. And they're labeled left. And then this one is, uh, where's that? The right. So they're labeled for you. So you get your stamp. Oh, get your stamp on one end. And then your eyeliner on the other end. So. The eyeliner is also smudge proof, which I can vouch for that. 
and waterproof. So that's good. So um, let's try this out now. I would recommend you do this on a day you're not going anywhere, just so you can kind of get used to it, try it out. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but <laughs> we shall see. And if this is something you're interested in trying, they did give me a discount code and you will save 10% off of the product and the product is not that expensive to start with. So anyway, I'm gonna start with my right eye because this is where I always start. I've already put my foundation, my powder, my eyebrows and my lip. So now I'm gonna move on to my eye. And this is really hard to do it here when I can't really see that well but I have my mirror down here, so I'm gonna try to, let me see if I can reposition the camera so when I'm in my mirror, you're looking down at it. So let me see if I can do that real quick. I'll be right back. So hopefully that's a little bit better when I'm looking right here. Y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. All right, so let's try this. So now I'm gonna start, I always start with my right eye. So let me do that now. Um. So you want to be sure you get your little fat tip is going to go closest to the eye with your wing coming out. So let me see how I'm going to do this. And snap. Hmm. Okay. So then I'm going to take my liner. Let's see if we can get the other eye to match up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So let's see. What do we think? Okay, it's very easy to use. You have to just kind of like figure out where you want your wing to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, this is, I'm gonna leave this the way it is. I'm going to finish up my makeup with my lashes and everything like that. I will show y'all what it looks like with um, just mascara and I will show you what it looks like with lashes. So, this is definitely a product, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a definitely a product that you are going to have to practice with, or at least I am. It is not going to be one of those products that you're going to get it first time. It's not as easy as the eyebrows were, but I think once um, you get the hang of it, if you like a wing liner, I think this is really going to work for you. And also, I'm curious to see, like, having this as just like your pattern what it would be like to um, use like your shadows to kind of soften the black because I really don't like black eyeliner, especially with my age. If you're young, 20s, 30s, 40s, you might get away with it, but I'm just going to be 50. And I think the older you get, the softer you need to kind of make your eyes and stuff. So that's just a personal opinion of mine. You do you. If you want to go bold and black and wing it out to your, into your eyebrow, then you do what you are happy with. <laughs> but I'm going to finish putting on my makeup, and um, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. When, before I put my eyelashes on, I will show y'all what it looks like with just mascara, and then what it looks like with the lashes. So I'll be back. 
So now that I've got the rest of my eyeshadow on, I'm going to do my mascara and then I'm going to be putting on my false eyelashes. So let's see what it looks like with just mascara. I think the black is throwing me off because I don't like black around my eyes, but I did try to soften it a little bit with the dark brown, but we'll see, we'll see. And that's what it looks like with just mascara. Not bad, not bad. And you know, this is without all of my makeup on. Once I get all of my makeup on, like my blush, my bronzer, you know, all that kind of stuff, it may look different. So I'm gonna show y'all with it, like with all of my makeup done and my hair fixed and my clothes on. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to put on my lashes, finish up my makeup, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. All right, y'all, what do you think? Sit. It's not bad once you have everything done. I still would prefer like a brown, but I think the black would be okay for certain outfits, maybe more nighttime for me. But if you are a person that likes your black wing liner, then this is definitely your product. This is it. Now, I would recommend that you do this if you get it that you practice on a day that you're not going anywhere. So you can kind of figure out your technique. You just have to kind of figure out where to put the stamp, you know, what angle to put it at and all that. I'm still gonna practice with mine. And I'm gonna practice doing a couple different things with it. And as I do, I will share with y'all. If you are interested in this product, I do have a discount code for y'all. Um, this video was not sponsored. They did send me the product for free. I didn't buy that, but I'm not making any money off of it. I'm just merely trying it, giving it my honest review. So um, if you are interested and you are gonna order it, then you might as well save a little bit of money. You save 10% and I will list the link and the discount code in the description box below. Um, and just give it a shot if that's something you're interested in. Never feel pressured. It might be something that you're totally not into and that's fine. I had just been seeing these and um, had honestly wanted to try it. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. And once I have everything on, it's not as harsh as it was before I had my blush and my eyelashes and all that on. So, <laughs> that's my take on that. Do with that information what you will. Um, but, yeah. And mine is, they did send me the 10 millimeter, but they also have the 8 I don't know what the difference is. You can kind of look at it um, when you're on Amazon. But it is smudge proof and waterproof. So that's a good thing, especially if you have watery eyes or if you're gonna be, you know, I don't know if you're gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say if you're gonna be going to the beach or whatever, but I don't put makeup on when I go to the beach or the pool, but you know, some do and if you do, hey, it's for you. <laughs> smudge proof and waterproof. <laughs> okay, so that is my take on this product. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, you know, never feel pressured, never feel obligated, but I do like to bring things to y'all that I try that I really enjoy. And I do like this concept, I really do. And I'm gonna try a couple different things with it to kind of make it my own. So, we'll see. Still loving the eyebrows though. They're like, oh my gosh, definitely, definitely a game changer for me on that. <laughs> So thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.